Oh wow, is that a power cut? That's never happened before. <laughs> Gong, get it on by T-Rex. This is a classic one to learn. We're going to be looking at how we can use a loop pedal to recreate this whole song as well, but I highly recommend you jam along to the original recording. Whether you're on acoustic or electric guitar, doesn't matter. Grab your guitar and let's learn this wicked song. So I mentioned that this song was based on a blues riff, that blues riff being this. It's sometimes known as a blues shuffle, um, but a shuffle tends to refer to it being played in a shuffle groove. Here we're just playing four notes. One, two, three, four. That riff played in this fashion is hundreds of songs. It's countless, thousands probably, because it's just, it's so ubiquitous. As soon as we just change it slightly, and just vary it to go to that uh, fourth note, fourth fret note earlier, that is get it on. That is suddenly unique to that song. Even Cigarettes and Alcohol by Oasis, a song that resembles this an awful lot, doesn't use that bit. It uses lots of other bits, but it doesn't use that. So that shows you how simple it can be, how, how small a change, but you can make it into your own unique riff just by following these tips. So the signature riff that we need to learn is this. One and two and three and four and. So that's the simple one, one and two and, and we just do that. I have separate tutorials for how to learn just an easy blues riff, but this one, one and two and three and four and, it goes on the and after that, uh, this, on the second time. Slightly palm muted as well, so I've got the outside of my palm and my hand just here. Another thing that I'm doing that I think picks this, makes this riff sound just like it is I'm always hitting string six, but I'm not always letting string five ring out. So we get kind of this effect. Kind of that effect, but I'm just relaxing these fingers. So let me play it one more time just to, the, for the detail of the riff. This first finger, da, 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 relax, relax. That's what my first finger's doing, which I think really, really adds a lot. But again, the basic riff, I'll leave a link to the tab in the description of the video. It takes a little bit of figuring out, but once you get it, you're just trying to recreate the song. Remember that, just recreating the rhythm of the song. It's then just the thinnest two strings, really. Oh wow, is that a power cut? Oh wow, that's never happened before. <laughs> so as soon as we just had a power cut, I'm gonna take that as a sign that I was talking too much and going into too much detail. But it seems like the audio auto saved and we're all okay to continue, so okay, next part. Uh, this is the part that Noel Gallagher ripped off for cigarettes and alcohol. Just the thinnest two strings, really. But play an E chord, have your E major chord down, just in case you hit string two. Easier to hit those thinner strings only with up strums. 
we got one, two, one, two, three, and then third fret, second fret, open. Over the top of the riff. And then another fun part, if you are wanting to get this set up with a, a looper pedal, would be to play the uh, kind of saxophone melody. That's how I was doing it, so E note at the 5th fret, this little Stevie Ray Vaughan move. That's what I'm using inspiration of here because it sounds really cool. So. First finger, seventh fret, eighth fret, and then ninth fret. Those two together, finish two strings together to string three. Five, five on string two, then uh, seventh fret, sixth fret, and fourth fret. Something fun to play about with anywhere, but then we get into the verse which goes from an E power chord to an A power chord. So we're going to do this with the riff, but let me just show it you as basic power chords first of all. Well you're dirty and sweet, clad in black, don't look back and I love you. It's one bar of each chord. So E5, 3, 4, A5, 2, 3, 4, E5. Dirty and sweet, oh yeah. Same chord, but down a string, and then we want to add that riff to it. For example, well, you're dirty and sweet, clad and back, come back, and I love you. You're dirty and sweet, oh yeah. So it's, that's hard to play and sing at the same time. You could simplify it. Just doing that one. But that's basically a verse going between the E5 chord and the A5 chord. Chorus, a G5 chord is what I'd be playing to an A7. Or you will see some people do this, particularly on electric guitar. A G5 power chord to an A5 power chord at the 3rd fret, 5th fret to 5th fret power chord, 5th fret and 7th fret Get it on, hang it on, get it on Get it on, bang it on, get it on to play about whether we can do both on the same, or do both parts on one guitar. Let me have a try again. possible but not recommended to be honest it's, it's a classic two guitar parts needed song that is all sections it just repeats and repeats so please have a go at jamming along to the original you may as well check out cigarettes and alcohol by oasis as well because it's such a similar song and a similar riff if you struggle with anything just pull it back to that standard blues riff and i'll leave a link to the easy blues riff tutorial that i have that's on my youtube channel and website now hope those videos really help you have fun learning this song guys i'll see you next time